starting a new video now. Of course, YouTube makes me uh, break these things up, as everyone knows. So, I've got a message here from uh, from uh, Avast, the Avast updater. It says, VPS database is already up to date, so I guess it did update. Oh, well. It told me it didn't, so... Uh, I had to, uh, I didn't have to reboot. Actually, it rebooted it itself. I don't know what rebooted. I have this weird autoplay message coming up constantly now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the CD-ROM here. All right. Um, once it rebooted, it uh, actually got rid of uh, probably about 70% of the malware on here just from a reboot. Uh, but, of course, uh, it leaves a little bit of adware. I haven't even done a scan yet. So anyway, let's go ahead uh, in Avast uh, and schedule a boot scan. Avast, for being a free product, is really, really a great little product. You can do a boot scan, which is just awesome. It scans the uh, hard drive before any processes start. You can just toast, completely toast, almost uh, all the malware on this infected box. Uh, so anyway, I need to uh, actually open up uh, Vast really quick. I don't use it a lot, so I may fumble around here. Forgive me. Uh, I, I listed uh, how I work with my uh, my clients that I deal with every day in St. Louis. I listed the steps on my blog uh, today, actually. So you can see exactly what I do when I um, meet a new person and they're infected and uh, I try to get in and out of the appointment as quick as possible so they love me and I get more business from other people. That's nice. Avast has some rootkit detection now. I don't think I've ever seen that. It says a rootkit was found. Uh, rootkit on my MBR. That's no fun. So we're going to go ahead and schedule a boot time scan. That's what it just asked me to do. And uh, we're going to go ahead and force a reboot really quick. Um, well, I've tested so many applications this week. I had a lot of extra time. Um, and the majority of them are really, really weak on adware removal. Um, they, they do their job in the antivirus department, but uh, you're going to need to buy another application for removing adware. Well, you don't have to buy one, but get another application. Super Anti-Spyware is my favorite, and many, uh, many others' favorites. Favorite. Sometimes I suck talking on this microphone. I do. I know it. I always say it. Mm, uh, uh, too much. Okay, it's slowly booting. We should jump into uh, an advanced uh, screen here. It'd be kind of a bluish screen. I heard today from somebody who visited my blog that uh, Avast actually uh, purchased a GMR, GMER uh, anti-rootkit, and uh, that's awesome for them. I hope they keep up the quality of it. The GMER anti-rootkit is just a great application. I use it every single day because there's so many rootkits now. In fact, when I go to a client's house, I just assume they have a rootkit and just run Gmer. And most of the time they have that uh, TDS serve rootkit or beep.sys. Those are the ones I see every week. So here we go. Um, I'm not going to really zoom in here, but if you... Uh, run this video in clear mode on YouTube where you can actually see all the text. Uh, you can see what it's doing here. 
if you really want to look at all the text. And basically what happens in a vast boot time scan, it'll say scan of a, scanning my local drive, and it'll, it'll say, hey, this file is infected by this particular virus or Trojan. What do you want to do? Do you want to delete it? you want to delete all? Move, move all? Move to their virus chest? Repair it? Avast gives you a lot of options. Uh, and what I usually have to do is uh, I usually do a move all. And if it can't do a move all, I'll do a delete and so on. Repair really does nothing because most malware isn't repairable. It's bad to start with. <clears throat> so uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video while this is scanned. Be right back. Okay, guys, um, I did a full bootable scan. I just rebooted, and here's what we have. Still a lot of, uh, a lot of fake uh, adware type stuff. Fake Windows Security Center pops up. Fake uh, insecure internet activity pop up. XP Antivirus 2008 and I'm sure if it left XP Antivirus 2008 it's gonna leave 2009 which is right there alright well let's go ahead and do the thorough scan and see if the thorough scan uh, gets rid of anything Hang on one sec. I know a lot of uh, a lot of companies tend to ignore the the rogue uh, anti-malware and adware but I really feel that these are probably the worst things out there because the whole end goal of anything malware based today is to get you to buy something so that you A spend money and B get your identity stolen that's the whole point of everything today so I really feel that adware needs to be taken almost as a number one priority Uh, but so far, I haven't really seen that except from PC Tools and Kaspersky. Uh, those guys seem to be on top of everything. go ahead and choose to do a thorough scan. Heck, I'll even scan archives. And I'll hit play, which is basically scan. Okay. Type of current scan, thorough scan. Just so you guys know. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and when I come back, that'll be part three, and I'll kind of give my final opinion on the Avast Review 2, version 4.8. Be right back.